Hi there. Let's get into thoracic, so diaphragm and lung endometriosis. Now, before I get into this, I need you to understand that the symptoms I'm about to talk about are really, really scary, so trigger warning, but also understand that these are very, very rare. Um, so please don't get too freaked out, okay? Let's get into it. So experiencing chest or shoulder pain, um, especially if this is during menstruation and even like ovulation, but outside of it too, pay attention to that. Having a cough or shortness of breath, which is so wild because that can be associated with so many other things. So my recommendation with that would be to again, pay attention to the timing of these symptoms and then also pay attention to the other system symptoms surrounding this, you know? Also, you could be experiencing radiating, radiating pain on the side of your neck. Neck? I can't talk. I'm so sorry. I'm not redoing this. So you're going to have to deal. Um, it's most commonly on the right side. Okay, so when I was reading about all of this, it sounds like when these problems are found, even though they're very rare, a lot of it's found on the right side. Like, I, I believe it was 95%, I want to say, was found on the right side. So if you have cyclic neck, shoulder, um, like under the ribs, or upper right quadrant pain symptoms, shortness of breath, stuff like that. Um, and if it's cyclic, especially, so that means so if it's during ovulation or if it's during menstruation, those are some red flags and you should speak with your doctor about it if you're concerned. Now here's where it gets interesting. These sim same symptoms that I just discussed have also been reported to occur um, before menstruation, during ovulation, which I already said, and then following intercourse as well. That's a wrap on my symptom series on endometriosis. Follow for more. I got more coming. You know I do.